In this video, we're going to talk a little bit about total knee replacement surgery. The first thing to establish is when you have arthritis of the knee, the first thing to establish is whether or not it is, it is time to consider surgical intervention. A lot of arthritic conditions can be managed non-operatively without surgery, but of course, if the function of the joint is going, if there's significant pain, stiffness, swelling and dysfunction, it may become intolerable and that's where we would then consider knee replacement surgery. It is an operation which you do need to prepare for. You need to be fully apprised of the risks and the benefits and that preparation involves significant amounts of uh, groundwork with your clinician and also physical rehabilitation and prehabilitation to ensure that the muscles are as strong as possible and that the knee is as ready as it can be uh, for the recovery that, that then ensues. The surgery itself is something which you would be given significant advance notice of. You would be uh, given plenty of information about uh, the risks and benefits beforehand. Those risks include things like bleeding, infection, pain, stiffness, swelling. But many of these risks are manageable risks and everything that we as clinicians do is aimed at minimizing these risks and managing those risks. So for example, strong antibiotics are given during the perioperative period. Any bleeding that occurs during the operation can be controlled. The stiffness uh, following surgery is really countered with physiotherapy and strict instructions to mobilize and really get the knee moving afterwards. So mobility is a very key po uh, point uh, following the operation to make sure that you're not sedentary, bedridden, because the risk of blood clots uh, and so on would then be significantly increased. So we want to get you mobile as quickly as we can after the surgery. There is inevitably some pain. Pain control will be managed with ice, compression cuff systems, elevation, painkillers when needed. And um, obviously you want to try and come off those painkillers as soon as you can, but there is in a period of uh, maybe between two and six weeks where some pain control may be, may be required. The physiotherapy that starts after the, the surgery should continue for between six, eight, even 12 weeks. And really by three months, patients are very much sort of on their road to recovery, but it's a progression and it's a process whereby ongoing input with the physiotherapists, outpatient contacts, and a lot of hard work uh, on the part of the patient to work at the mobility, the strength in the muscles to gain support and confidence with mobility. And it's a process which, which does take time to build that trust and confidence in the joint as you progress and heal. During the surgery, the worn bone and cartilage at the end of the joints is, is essentially shaved off and the knee is then recapped and resurfaced with metal uh, implants, which are cemented into the bone with rigid fixation. And a plastic shock absorber is also used as, a, as an insert, a new shock absorber, if you like, in between those metal implants. Now that allows a very, very smooth surface so that the one joint surface can really articulate smoothly with the other. And the ligaments and muscles around the knee are managed very carefully during the operation to avoid any risk uh, to them and with healing and the, the muscles recovering over the next six to eight weeks, uh, full stability and confidence with walking can then be regained over the first few months. So the challenge for the surgeon during the operation is really to ensure that the operation is done with utmost precision and we've got a variety of techniques available to us with manual instrumentation or even robotic techniques to try and improve the precision and the accuracy of what we do to allow the best possible return of function after the surgery.